Day Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are right here at Wild Time with Miss Allison Davis, and we are cooking the bacon. We're frying right now. <laughs> I'm frying up some bacon. She said, what did you say if we're doing bacon this week? Like, yeah. I'm just going to combust. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to spontaneously combust. That's what I'm going to do. You know, I don't know what it is, but I guess spring horse racing makes me think of two things, bourbon and bacon. bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing one of my favorites. We do this in a lot of our cooking with bourbon classes, yeah. um, especially this time of year because being Beans are going to be coming in season, you right. know, as we get into the warmer months. Um, but this is a bourbon and bacon green beans. Um, so what we're doing right now is just kind of browning and crisping up some bacon. Um, the recipe that um, we're going to have online is going to say you can add a shallot or a diced onion to that if you want. Okay. Or you can omit it. I didn't put an onion in today. I've just got the bacon. Okay. Um, we've crisped it a little bit, and now we are going to just kind of turn it on a low heat, and then just add our beans in. Directly and, in. Yeah, directly in. I don't okay. blanch the beans uh, because I like for my um, vegetables to still have a bit of a bite yeah. and to be a little crisp. Okay. So I like to just keep them um, at that raw state. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is just kind of lightly sauteing them. Mm -hmm. They're going to still stay nice, bright, and green. Um, we're going to keep them on a low heat. And so you could be preparing this for dinner or preparing this, you know, to go with you know, a luncheon, right. and keep it on a low heat, and by the time you've got kind of everything ready, yeah. those will be just softened enough to where they're perfect consistency, uh -huh. and then still have a good bite to them. Do you ever cover them, or do you leave them on I don't, because okay. then you're going to be steaming them. Yeah. So I really do want to keep the crispness of okay. the vegetables. So we're just kind of lightly sauteing them. All right. So, you know, we've got a, a little bit of salt, but I still salt and pepper everything, okay. um, but you're going to get some salt from the bacon, so be yeah. careful not to over-season. Okay. Um, some pepper, and then we got a couple of uh, fun things that we're going to add into this. Okay. So this is our maple and uh, bourbon bacon green bean, I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure the title. <laughs> so we're going to add a bit of maple syrup in here. Look That's going to balance with the sweetness uh -huh. or with the saltiness of the bacon. And then oh. we add in some bourbon, and I'm going to show you a little flambe. Okay. Okay. So we'll hope that this doesn't light our cameraman on fire. <laughs> All right, so we got a little of the um, maple in there. Yeah. You just kind of throw a little bit of that bourbon on there. Uh -huh. And then if you've got it, you should be <gasps> able you. to catch wow. the alcohol. And so what happens is the alcohol is going to cook out. Yeah. And then um, if you shake it, it looks a little bit even fancier. Um, but then the bourbon flavor is concentrated a little bit into uh, the sauce. Yeah. So now our sauce is made of bourbon and maple uh -huh. and some of the uh, bacon drippings. And yeah. so you've got this nice kind of glaze going. You want to give it a shake, Oh you? my gosh, I do. <laughs> I can't help it. I've never done that before. All right. So and there you go. And so once the, the flame is kind of out, then you know you've cooked the alcohol out of it, and you're yeah. just getting the flavor of the bourbon. Wow. Um, and lastly, I do this for color and also, again, to kind of bring some of that sweetness to the dish. Yeah. Um, a little bit of just dried cranberries. Okay. And then we're going to let this just kind of simmer on a low heat, and okay. that is it. So do I what need to stir it? Do you, you can a little bit, yeah. but really, this is such an easy, elegant, just ready-to-go uh, yeah. side dish mm -hmm. uh, for spring. And... Yeah, I would serve this up with any um, any dish. Are any my bangs entree. still on? Your, bang, <laughs> your bangs are good. Your hair is good. Okay, We're not okay. flammable I over here. Everything off. Yeah. Okay, um, but yeah, that's about it. So. Awesome. Any questions it on that? It looks fantastic. You know, I, I thought about another alternate to this recipe. If you're like a fan of snap peas, oh. I think you could probably do this very same yeah, recipe, really but with good. snap peas and yes. bacon and cranberries. And I if love you wanted it. to have that, like maybe with some Asian um, grilled steak or something yeah. like that, that would be a nice pairing. Oh, so. Sounds so good. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at wtvq.com forward slash midday Kentucky. Make sure you go to the recipes tab, or you can help. Head over to Miss Allison's website at Wild Time Cooking, and I'm on Instagram at Chef Allison Davis. And we'll be right back right after this short break. Keep it right here.